Leduc was recognized as a significant producing oil field, and the industry took off. This was the most prolific geological formation in Alberta, and rigs dotted the landscape. Black gold had finally been found in large quantities. All of this production resulted in massive construction of pipelines across the West. In 1950, a pipeline link ran from Alberta to central Canada and the U.S. Midwest. Three years later, in 1953, the Trans Mountain Pipeline was built linking Edmonton to Vancouver and Washington State. No easy task. The building of pipelines 40 years ago required a little bit of determination and a lot of elbow grease. Oil was now becoming a world economic player and led to the formulation of the National Energy Board in 1959 and the Organization of Petroleum Exporting Countries, or OPEC, in 1960. Investors finally were once again ready to tackle the sticky subject of oil sands and the result was the establishment in 1964 of the great Canadian oil sands company, now Suncor Energy. This was the world's first oil sands mining and upgrading operation, with full-scale production beginning three years later. 